Hello, sixth grade scientists. So in this lesson, we are going to be introduced to our new unit, which is rock transformations. So these the really questions that we're going to be thinking about in rock transformations are how are rocks formed and how are they transformed or changed over time? Uh, so first, I want you to just check in. So draw a picture showing how you're feeling today and then draw a mini goal that you have for yourself this week. What is one thing that you um, would like to accomplish throughout this week? So just take a little bit of time to think about that. And then the, uh, that for the lesson, the question that we're really thinking about is where can we find rocks and what can we learn about them? So in this lesson, you're going to be able to compare and contrast various landforms and make predictions about how rocks are formed. You also wanna be able to share your ideas of how rocks form with each other in like collaborate boards or um, <clears throat> through the discussions as well as um, uh, with, with yourself and your family. You can talk with your family when you share as well. So like I said, we're going to begin a new unit called rock transformations. So I want you to think about this question first. How do you think rocks form? So in this next slide, you're going to answer that question, um, how you think they, that rocks form. And uh, you can use this picture to kind of help you think about like how rocks are formed. So this actually is a picture of the city of the rocks, which is near Deming, New Mexico. So remember, I now I like, want you to think about using complete sentences in your answers. And remember that you can wrap the question into the answer. So how do you think rocks form? You can get rid of the question words and you can write, I think rocks form by and answer that question. Try to be detailed, put some evidence and um, explanation details into what you're, when you're writing. Don't just like write like three words, really start thinking about answering in, in detail and um, making your answers thorough as we're moving on into the second semester of sixth grade. So once you do that, then um, I'll see you in the next video. Good luck and take your time in both slides, this slide and the one about just checking in. Remember, you can also record your, your answer.